Welcome. Today, what we're going to do is look at simulating a broaching tool. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is to define a tool, a broaching tool. So to do that, what I'm going to go ahead and do is go to the import, and we'll go ahead and import CAD. We'll go ahead and find the step file, and then I'll go ahead and load that in. We've got three different components here we need to define. This here is going to be the shank. This here is going to be the holder. And this here will be the insert cutter. Now, with that cutter, what we need to do is define what's going to be cutting. Okay? So I'm going to select the cutting face. Okay? We'll go ahead and select here. And I'm going to select the bottom. And we'll go ahead and uncheck that and add it in the tool. Now that we have the tool made, the next step is to tell Veracat whether we're broaching or not. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and use a macro called broach mode on and off. Uh, the text value is not going to be used, um, but the override values are one, we're going to be broaching. Any other value, the broach mode is off. Now let's take a look at the simulation. In this example, we're using the macro right into the G code. Um, the other thing we could do is we could tie that to an M code. Okay. So you can see we get the CG tech underscore macro with our broach mode on off. In this case, we're setting it to a one, which is turning it on. Below here, we're going to go ahead and turn it off. So let's see the results. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.